I saw you tweeting about this one. I think last night. How are you feeling about expensive pain? Yeah, so Meek Mill's expensive pain was only announced, I think, two, three weeks ago. And I had missed that announcement, so I was not expecting this album. And I was pleasantly surprised. I thought this shit was fucking good. Uh, you know, and I've had low expectations for Meek Mill for quite a while. You know, b- before he went to jail, before everything happened, where he, you know, triumphantly uh, left jail and has become a bit of a folk hero and a uh, every man and an activist as well. Before all that, I had already been really down on Meek Mill as just a rapper. You know, I, I thought the early MMG days had notably peaked. There was a clear arc on the quality scale. And, you know, the last album, the comeback album, Championships from 2018, I think exceeded everyone's expectations. And uh, Going Bad with the big Drake feature was a big song. Uh, but this album, I actually think, as Meek Mill had tweeted himself, might be better than Championships just because it's almost simpler and back to the basics, but still has a few different modes because there's some auto-tune, there's some singing on this as well. So I think it's just, I was just un, uh, surprised and uh, taken aback by how much I liked uh, a Meek Mill album, you know, Expensive Pain. So very happy with this one. Yeah, I was definitely surprised at, I think, how many songs really popped, like, or really stood out, you know, because it's a long album, it's 18 songs, almost an hour. So usually you're you're going to have, like, times when the energy kind of falls, but, you know, I have not being a big Meek fan prior to this, I was kind of thinking, oh, this might be a slog of a listen. It didn't feel that way. I felt like it kept, like, a pretty crisp pace. Um and even the the times when it really like dragged, I, it was like maybe a song or two, and then it got right back to a banger. I felt like um, I thought the features were all pretty choice, and I think most people who came onto this album gave a pretty good showing, which I think definitely adds something. But even some of the songs Meek was on his own, like I think the first two tracks are just absolute fire way to start the album. Man, <laughs> intro hate on me. Um, having the, like the hate me now strings kind of like coming in the yes. background every once in a while. And then outside 100 miles per hour is just like seriously 100 mile per hour. Like, for, yeah, you know, like he was in fact stepping on the gas pedal. Yep. Uh, so just like an awesome way to start the album, you know, like a couple of times when maybe it like slowed down, like I didn't really like love, love train, but then you get North side, mm-hmm. South side with, with uh, gigs on the next track. And I just thought they sounded great together. Like It yeah. was just like, it didn't it never lagged for too long, which I appreciated. Totally, totally. Uh, the third track, "On My Soul," I think has been getting a bit of a mixed reception. And Meek has always been a storyteller, I guess, an underrated storyteller, because his trademark is the rapid fire flows, the loud delivery. But "On My Soul" is more of that storytelling side, notably with auto tune. I actually think he sounds pretty good on that, to be honest. Uh, definitely not what I was expecting. Uh, not that that's my favorite thing for Meek, of course. I think he's at his best when he's keeping the energy high. And like you said, this album never lulls one way or the other. He will take his uh, breaks on the track list with a with a love song, you know, whether Kehlani's popping up or he's using a lot of doing himself, mm. slowing it down. And then immediately jump back into some kind of banger that we're more familiar with, right? Sharing Locations. I did not expect to hear him trade bars with Baby and Dirk the way he did. Like I thought that was actually really awesome, you know. And mm-hmm. I would have loved if that song was maybe a minute or two longer because I, I think everyone's almost taken a break. Like the first like minute and a half, it's really just one or two bars. Next guy's turn, you know. But it's still cool to hear because mm-hmm. you just don't get people train bars like that all that often. Um, and I also loved um, me featuring Asap Ferg. I thought Ferg was really great and there's some really funny wordplay on that song so overall quite pleased with this one but yeah it, it, it does uh, uh you know run a little long but then again like to have you know six seven eight tracks on a meek mill album that i'm like actually quite enthusiastic about you know it's a good feeling yeah absolutely you know y- you mentioned me uh fuck with me track seven and track eight hot with money bag yo uh I thought that sounded pretty great too. It had a little bit of like a 
future like uh mask on mask off vibe to it a little <laughs> bit with like the i don't know if it was a whistle or whatever that like wood instrument was in the background but uh i thought they traded really well as too um also in the second half of the album tweaking with Bori really yeah. stood out to me as like, a really yeah high energy track and just like they they both crushed it so i was really impressed with this and it feels like it feels like meek for someone who's i think gained attention from things outside of his music being really good you know obviously all the feuds you mentioned the, you know the the folk hero status with his uh time in prison and his release um this feels like a real step up in in the music sense so it's really exciting stuff for yeah. sure at the end of the day it's just nice to see that because meek's you know a bit of a messy character online you know a bit of mm. a, a personality so it's nice to see that the music is still keeping up and that he's you know earning all his attention uh because at yeah. the end of the day if people don't care about meek mill's music they're not really going to care about uh, the causes he's supporting so you need to have both yeah, and shout out uh, Robert Kraft, probably the biggest Meek Mill fan in the <laughs> world. Right. So, uh, 